Good morning to you all. Hope you had a, a very good evening to this uh, last night and uh, no problems at all. Um, I've just got a few uh, shouts for you. Um, okay, so oh, the first shout I have is actually to the um, to James Brompton. Congratulations, amazing news for passing all of your ECA assignments and it sounds like you've been offered training to start at the end of April. That's a really amazing achievement you should be very very proud of yourself when you go through all the exams um all the interviews and you do all the preparation and you pass the assignments assessments um to get there it's a, an amazing feeling um to start training because you know you're part of um a larger um group of people who who have the same goal to, to help others basically so i'm really really proud of you thank you so much for letting me know james um i got another shout it was uh from lee he's basically asking me about um eca work okay so he's asking um i'm just trying to find the answer to the question again sorry about that i thought i had it up here um so we were told if um, if it's an evasive procedure, then the paras do it. Um, and then the ECAs can do under their supervision. <clears throat> and then he's also asking about ECG. So, yeah, if you have a para who is doing something evasive, like intubation, putting a tube down someone's throat, um, a cord on eye gel, for, for example, it's going past a certain point in the throat. At that point, we are not allowed as ECA to do that. However, we are able to um, assist by putting um, <clears throat> um, uh, a bougie, which is a very long, thin uh, tube, to uh, give to the um, the paramedic to allow the um, the entrance into the, the throat, um, and we are allowed to pull it out when the paramedic ask us to okay um things like um pushing in the um the sodium chloride into a cannula or a cannulated hand if the paramedic is is happy for you to do that it's not part of the ECA role i have to stress it's not something that we have been taught i will stress however if you have been on um, shift with this paramedic for quite some time I'm talking about six months years however and you know, and you're very um, confident and the, the paramedic is confident it's up to them to make a decision whether they say you can help them because at the end of the day it's their registration if something goes wrong it's on their shoulders okay so we help to a certain point to assist the paramedic normally we don't do evasive stuff such as that Okay, so that's that. Hopefully, that's answered your question on that one, uh, uh, Lee. Um, you also asked about what's this yellow thing on my shirt. Well, I have a. I haven't got it around here now. Um, I have a um, a flip up uh, torch. So basically, it's bright yellow because you can see it in the dark, which is not nice and easy. Um, but it flips up and it actually gives a little bit of a light, so I can read from here. I can do some writing from here. Um, it also helps um, if I'm working on somebody and it's quite dark in the house or quite dark outside. So I, I could be hands-free instead of having a torch or someone having a torch on me. Um, it's just a, a little um, extra accessory, which, you know, we, you know, you don't have to have it. Um, but I found through my experiences that it's it's actually quite helpful to have some kind of torch, which you don't actually have to use your hands for. Um, so you can get that. I got that on eBay somewhere we, or Amazon for I don't know uh, six or seven pound or something. But it's a clip on, so you clip it onto the the radio um, material on your shirt, and then uh, then you just flip it up, and then it just activates. Um, the police have got a really good one as well, which I'm actually thinking of getting instead. Um, and it's another sort of clip on, but it's a lot stronger light. Um, just uh, it's just something I. I wanted to get as a an accessory really so yeah so congratulations again um, on the, all those who have passed their assessments and all those who are about to you know embark on a on the training um, I'm out to, to <clears throat> Bournemouth again uh, just this Saturday so I've got a couple of days off hence why I'm <laughs> not in my greens 
Um, and uh, my shift this week will only be a 6 a.m. till 4 p.m. So nice uh, early shift for me. And then I can get on and, and on Sunday and have a bit of a relax because I'm so tired after those three nights um, uh, late I did the other day. Okay, so I hope that's answered your questions. Any more questions, please do drop me a text or drop, uh, drop me an email or ask on the, uh, on the YouTube and I will promise I will find out what I can and I'll give you a shout as well. So again, have a great day, stay safe and talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.